This is teacher Dr. Mugomba Ronald and today we are going to look at the rat. That's what we are going to go ahead and look at. The rat. That's what we are going to look at for today. And today we are going to go ahead and look at the external features of the rat. We are going to go ahead and then in the second in the next part of the video we shall also look at the classification of the rat. Then after there we shall go ahead and look at internal features of the rat where we shall see the system, the different systems and their functions. So to begin with, we are going to start classifying this organism under the different groups. Now, when you classify this organism, it is under Kingdom Animalia. I believe you all know the kingdom. It is Kingdom Animalia. We need to give reasons as to why it belongs to Kingdom Animalia. So, when you look at it carefully, you realize that it has a, uh, a mouth. All animals have a uh, mouth, or they have, yeah, they have the mouth which they use for feeding. All animals have lo locomotory structures, like the, what I'm holding here. These are its feet, its limbs. So, this, these are the two characteristics that make it to be under an animalia, possession of locomotory organs and possession of the mouth. When you go to the crash, the crash is crash. So when you go to the phylum, before we can go ahead and look at the, uh, we go ahead and look at the crash. The phylum is codata. So it belongs to phylum codata simply because of a number of things. But when you look at it carefully, you will realize that it has teeth. It has the incisor teeth. You can see the teeth clearly here. So it has teeth, those incisor teeth, and that makes it a cordage. And when you look at the digits, it has a pentadactyl limb system. Pentadactyl digits or pentadactyl limb system, though the four ones are not so clear, they are not clearly five, but you can see here, you can have one, two, three, four, five. So pentadactyl limb system makes it to be a cordage. On top of that, it also has a post annual tail. So you can see clearly the post annual tail. So that is another characteristic of a codet. Now, when you look at the crash to which it belongs, it belongs to crash mammalia. And now, the reason as to why I say it belongs to crash mammalia is simply because when you look at it carefully, uh, it has external earlobes. You can see the external earlobes. On top of the external earlobes, it also has fur covering its body. The entire body is covered by fur. On top of the fur that it has, under mammalia, you will see that it also has external genitalia. It has external genitalia. You can clearly see these, these are external genitalia. You can clearly see that. This is external genitalia and this is a male, probably. It's a male because of the position of the, the penis clearly observed. Eh? It is a female. Yes, it is a female. It is a female. This is the clitoris. And we can see the vulva. So it is the female. So external genitalia is very important to group it under mammalia, crash mammalia. Now, when we go ahead and look at the species, the order, it belongs to order rodentia. Order rodentia. Rodentia. So the order to which it belongs, it is order Rodentia. Now, the reasons as to why it is under Rodentia is simply because when you look at it carefully, it stores. Uh, the claws are carved. I think this can clearly bring it out. You can see the, the claws. The claws are carved. The claws are carved. You can see them clearly here. They are curved claws. You can see the claws are well curved. So that makes it fall under Rodentia because of the curved claws. You can clearly see them, they are curved. Now, on top of that, having looked at that,